This line is about size of business in Cambodia, the real regime of taxation. It means that uh, you pay tax by yourself. You prepare your tax filing by yourself. You calculate by yourself. You pay the tax to the tax department through banks by yourself. You need to be honest. They, they don't know anything. They will just accept your application and see the uh, receipt that you have paid to the bank. It's based on your uh, honesty. But they have the auditing policy. They will audit at some point. So it means that you need to be clear, you need to be honest, and you need to know the procedure. If you don't know how, you learn. Or you hire, or you uh, interest the job to a uh, consulting firm. And they divided the taxation level into three small, medium, and light tax payment. So I will share a little bit more about uh, what makes you small, medium, or large. Okay. Uh, if you register the business as sole representative or partnership, your turnover, your annual turnover is between 62.5 uh, thousand US dollar to 175k uh, or thousand US dollar, it's gonna be a small taxpayer. Also, if you don't know uh, how much you will be making uh, annually ahead, you can also estimate per three months, or you can count the last three months. Okay. Um, also, if you uh, want to uh, meet a project or issue for for the uh, bidding and 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 so on. Uh, you need to be at least small taxpayer. You cannot be just not registered person and then apply for it. They will not uh, accept your bidding. Okay? Uh, so it's brief. This one. Uh, how they define a medium taxpayer? <coughs> if uh, your annual turnover is between 175k to 1 million US dollar. If you register it as a legal entity or representative office, if you choose the first option, legal company, legal entity, it doesn't matter how much money you make, it's going to be medium taxpayer right away. If you register local NGO or association or international NGO, now they enforce NGO association, you pick based on organization. Uh, to be a taxpayer as well, and you will be a medium taxpayer. This one is foreign diplomatic, uh, consular mission, embassy, and so on. They are uh, medium taxpayer. This one is like taxpayer. If your business is generating over one million US dollar annual turnover, and if your business is subsidiary of multinational company or branch of a foreign company as I indicated about branch. Uh, if it is branch, it's going to be automatically a light taxpayer. It doesn't matter whether you make money in Cambodia or not, or how much. As far as you go this way, it's going to be a light taxpayer. If your business is registered with the CDC, uh, Consult for the Development of Cambodia, mm -hmm. and the QIP, which means a qualified investment uh, project, Making it easy. Making Cambodia easy.